But I guarantee you, Namdi Khan will die as I say, like a chicken. <laughs> Social media is on fire right now. This is as a result of Sheonkuti. That's the son of Fela. He dropped some bombshell here and there. And the, the, the issue started with a man who lives in Finland called Simon Epa. Simon Epa said he's one of the disciples of Nam the Kano. Nam the Kano, like others, it's kinsmen. Is tribesmen. Some of them want Biafra. They want a nation of their own. They don't want to be part of Nigeria. This had led to civil war in the you know in time past. It led into civil war. Now there is a problem, confusion. What is going on here? Simon Ekpa lives abroad. And he also used to live abroad. In fact, when he came to Nigeria, a lot of terrible things happened. He had to like escape and he was tricked. They used a woman to get him and money. They got him in Kenya, brought him to Nigeria. Now, I want to believe that the government of Bola Metinubu is uh, soft and a little democratic. Okay, let us even say democratic because <laughs> the previous regime of Buari, we know cases where people had been let out on bail in court. And the DSS will grab the person again um, for reasons best known to them. At times, they'll say you have to perfect the bill. And after the person is done perfect, they say the person that will sign is not around. You know, a lot of uh, bureaucratic um, nonsense. Now, Simon Ekpa had responded to Sheunkuti because Sheunkuti had said, How can you be there hiding behind or in a, in, in a Caucasian land, in a white man's land, as they often you know, use that expression, even there is nobody white that I've seen. Why are you hiding there? Trying to put other people in arms with, if you are really ready to fight war, like how my own grandmother did, come back to Nigeria. Come back to Nigeria. Come here. And Simon Ekpa had responded saying, no, I've learned and I will do it differently. The question that begs to an answer is this. Who should take up hands and ammunition or do sit at home or whatever it is? Who, who, where is Simon Ekpa? He's having his life moving smoothly and that of his children. Let us listen to what Sheon Kuti has to say and we'll talk more. Should we discuss Ho Chi Minh, the leader of the Viet Cong? When they talk say Fulani is your excuse. American government supports Southern Vietnamese. They support Southern Vietnamese against their brothers in the North who are fighting for a unified and independent Vietnam. The South said, no, they like make America stay. Revolution starts. Did Ho Chi Minh run away? Ho Chi Minh grew up in France. He studied in France. He went to school in France. He lived all his adult life in France. But when it was time for revolution, he packed him back up. He died in Vietnam before the war was won. But these people still won the war. Should we discuss Fidel Che? And should we discuss the French Revolution? Did you study any of this revolution before you say you study the revelation? You study the past, and then, then you don't want to die like chicken. You don't want to die, but you want to be revolutionary. Everyone, everybody want go heaven. Nobody want die. But Mali said it best. You can fool some people sometimes. But you cannot fool all the people all the time. It is wrong to spill the blood. Remove yourself from the equation while you are calling for violence. It is fundamentally wrong. How many innocent Igbo people? Never, me, see, I will never subscribe to any violent idea. As long as I see, even if now, one thread of peaceful hope. If I see one thread of peaceful hope for black people, for African people, I will never take violence. No matter how it seems as if violence will work. You know why? Because I don't say, we don't suffer rich. We don't die rich. If there's any reason why we should not die or suffer, we must embrace it. 
not somebody that okay so wait what kind of war simon Ekpa, 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 the clown clown general prime minister which kind of war you want control which kind of war so when your people there for battlefield now when they're in the battlefield something happened because a general must be dynamic things are happening on ground now you don't go first call hey okay, I bet. you say put on video call put on show me the battlefield put on the video call wait grow network grow network is slow nobody will kill everybody Presidents, not be Nigeria in house is day, not be Nigeria in office day. Say president can say in declare war for Nigeria now. Call wrong, go America, go the state for America, they watch war for a country. We're not telling you day physical battlefield. Do. You can be in your house in Nigeria, now we talk. Be in your house. We say go in the but come to Nigeria, make them take life, make you feel like make what time go make you feel like. Make police slap your cousin, slap your wife, arrest them, you see them. People are killing your people, killing your people. Up and down the place. Since 1960, they don't kill people. 1967, for Mojuku, na master, deceiving Nibo people, leading them to slaughter. They don't they tire? Why? Why are you treating your people like that? Eastern leaders. Why do you love the blood of your people so much? What's going on? We stand up, go slow down, talk through to yourself, talk through to your people. Get them to be class conscious. May they see the struggle, we unify all of us. Instead of trying to create a special victim status for them. To make them feel like every Nigeria are their enemy. Make them notion that Una and Una friends be their enemy. Ibo rich men, they have a flaw that they want to be good by all means. So regardless of the fact that they are all involved in what is destroying Nigeria, they want to act as if they are some, you know, eh, they, they bypass us. They don't give evil man anything. They, they bypass, they, they bypass you now. You do think that, you know, they say, evil people, they make money by their business. Eh? The only way you can make billions in Nigeria, you must get government contract to. Or you must get uh, political patronage. Who get the money to gather for you rich billion? Who get the money? Who? Who won't gather billion for you? Who won't buy a billion billion market for your hand? Everybody want to talk some kind of sub story for this Nigeria where we all day. Like say they they just start from grass, just they all zoo. Nobody give them money. Nobody invest for their business. They don't get political friends. We put public money for the business. I just do their shop for Alaba. They can't open another branch. They can't open another branch. I only Roshi. All elites are involved in what is destroying this country. <laughs> because you see, me, I have nothing to lose in the game when they play. I will expose you anyhow. Let's say the they follow do something. Those are when they expose anyhow. Because all of our girls, now they help. When I say they hide. Now they help. I say, you see me? You can just, I will just expose you. No try me, oh. No try me, oh. <laughs> Your job go knock you. I don't want name, name, oh. Mm -hmm. Now you be revolutionary. People they follow you. Ah, anybody they follow you, you know if you get between we get sense. But I guarantee you, anybody following this organization, they are two they cannot get sense. Not beside they swear. I no swear. Oh. I no swear. Oh. Somebody say talk to Simon. Don't talk about Kanu. Don't go fire on Ani. Don't tell me what to talk about. Don't come here and say don't talk about Kanu. Now they mad me. I will talk about all of you, all of them together, because they are one. But I guarantee you, now the can will die, as I say, like a chicken. <laughs> so people are hiding under white man blanket. You know, when you hide under blanket, white man, hey, you go for the blanket, your father, your father. You under white man blanket. You go, you go hide yourself under white man blanket. Hey, hey your father. Hey, if they come, white man, help me, help me. White man will take my head, come on, you did. Hey, me, I'll be African freedom fighter, hiding under white man blanket. Hey, 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 your mother. The UTB in Yeyeni, the revolutionary under white man blanket, the re that revolutionary hiding in the whitest of countries, Finland. No country is whiter than Finland. Hiding under white man blanket has the audacity from under his blanket. Don't be yeah, 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 mad. <laughs> now in this is video, you begin to show disrespect to my papa. You see, 
my, my father died like chicken inside cell. First of all, fella not die inside cell. My father died a free man, surrounded by his family. But I guarantee you, Nam the can will die inside cell like a chicken. Welcome back. As difficult as it might sound. Yes. Shionkuti has his own delivery. Yes, Simon Ekpa does not want to unalive himself in Nigeria while he's trying to get Biafra, but he wants to be celebrated when he is alive, not when he is under the soil. Now, Simon Ekpa made reference to Sheonkuti's grandmother and also maybe the father of Sheonkuti who passed away. Did Fela pass away as a result of constant incarceration or was he locked and then pied? No, he wasn't locked and pied. We heard that he had passed away from being injected. We heard that he got it from the numerous women, concubines that he had among around him. Shokuti said his father had to marry all of these women because people had called them Olosho. Now, let us leave name calling aside. Let us focus on the important part of it. Is it possible for you to declare a nation or to be the prime minister of a country whilst you are living somewhere else, commanding your followers or people who believe in a better tomorrow to go out there and do what they need to do, like get that nation? You might think it is only in the southeast of Nigeria that this is happening. Recently, a woman who claimed that she used to be one of the wives of uh, late M.K. Abiola, she's called Onitiri, Dupe Onitiri. She had uh, declared Yoruba Nation and has said reclaiming, declaration, reclamation, every shun, 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 a lot of it. So, certain groups of people, like some couple of them, I don't know, maybe they are 50 or 100, or less than that. I think they are less than that. They gather themselves and they sat at the secretariat, the governor's uh, office secretariat in Oyo State. They said, let's start from there. Oyo State. Let's go there. So they went there, dressed in military regalia, camouflage, and they sat down with uh, flyers and big portraits of Yoruba Nation map, flag, and all of that. And they said that they are declaring Yoruba Nation and that they gave those in the secretariat, in the government office, a certain number of hours to vacate because this is their nation and they have taken over. What became of them is a story for another day. It's a story for another day. A story for another day. In fact, when they caught some of them, they said that they don't even know why they are there. That uh, someone just called them and said they were going to get this amount of money. And um, if they would like to be part of those that will sit down to protest or to gain Yoruba Nation or something like that. We started hearing it. The truth of the matter is this. You cannot escape or break away. You can't get freedom by it being handed over to you. Maybe... You might get it, but not completely. You will still be ruled by proxy or indirectly. It's just like what the colonial masters did. They had given some countries, you know, some fought for it. Some were given. But did they leave those countries? No. They were controlling those countries, the economy of the country. Look at what happened recently in Niger. Look at what happened recently. They had a proxy. They had a president. That was helping France to come and loot. They had, uh, not until some of these military, they said, no, enough is enough. We have to stop this. We cannot stay in penury. Whilst these useless European countries or France, who has nothing, no revenue, nothing, is taking advantage of our resources to better their own lives and still call us third world country. Of course, you're a third world country because you cannot think. You cannot reason. You have not thought about it over the years that the only thing that made these people more uh, have the opportunity to overtake or have the opportunity to suppress rather is because they were able to get what they can use to 
on a live view. Weapon. Why don't you develop your own weapon? Why don't you, at least they gave opportunities to you guys to come study abroad. Why don't you guys go learn some things, some few tricks, and begin to build your own weapon, stand together as one, and also say, we are here. This earth is not for the weak. It is not for the weak. No, not at all. Everyone needs to fight for his or her own space. That's how it is. So, being abroad, asking people to come out to protest or to, to, to do whatever it is, comes with its own risk. It comes with a lot of risk. No enemy will ever leave you. No enemy will allow you to go without a fight. So for you to fight that enemy cannot be done using pity. Let us take Ukraine and Russia, for example. Ukraine lost resources, lost all forms of growth because they decided to take on or thought they could fight a country that is stronger, a country that those that, that are even asking you to, to join, to be part of, or, or encouraging you to go against, cannot even go against them. It will end the world. America did not do what they did, or, or Europe in general, they did not do the Western Europe. They didn't do what they did in Libya. Why, why couldn't they have flown their fighter jets or hacked the whatever European organization, whatever? Why didn't they just send in all their military to Russia? They know that Russia only needs to press some of their buttons and the entire Europe will go down. America, Canada will go down. It's easy. Russia borders Canada. Yeah, people don't know. So it's easy. All they need to do is just fire the rocket, destroy Canada. From Canada, they, they destroy parts of America. Everybody, it will be a collateral damage. And, you know, they don't want to unalive themselves. So when you are fighting an enemy, you need to, apart from courage, boldness, you, you have to throw away foolishness. You have to look at your arsenal. Can you fight the enemy within? Because it starts from the enemy within. Can you fight that enemy within? And from then, look at how Namdekan was brought to Nigeria. You, you think it's only the DSS work? Like, Aousa DSS, Fulani DSS. Or maybe you might say Yoruba DSS. No! There are business people, businessmen. Igbos, who don't like this idea of Biafra? If Biafra comes, eh, they don't want to show themselves like we are not, but they are good. If Biafra comes, like Biafra comes, okay, they, but they like what's happening. They are the ones who helped to trap Inamdekano. We heard that Inamdekano was trapped with a woman who had offered money and bonbon. Inamdekano is married. So they know. So those that gave that idea are definitely skinsmen. Like, look, this guy likes women that are like this. So they are checked his profile. They checked very well. They presented a woman who is willing to offer a lot of money for the cause. So they know that human beings like money. And they know that being an Igbo man, also someone who is on this journey, he will like the idea of someone bringing money on the table. It is now his own choice if he's going to do the other thing. But if it's about the money... It met the person in Kenya. Imagine, they didn't choose to meet any other place. Kenya, away from Europe, prime eyes, where people will see. He tried like to meet in an obscure African country, somewhere, Kenya, not Ghana, where the hands of the government of Nigeria can reach. He said, okay, let me go to East Africa, where they, they, they don't really, that's where he went to meet, and they picked him. By the time he opened his eyes, Kenya government helped them, like, and trap him like this. Once we get him, and open his eyes, he saw himself in Nigeria. He couldn't believe it with, with his Fendi. They used it to mock him. But that does not mean that he wasn't really interested. It's just that he just had that weak part that he took advantage of. So it's not a, a, an easy thing. Fighting against your enemy. Your enemies will use all us now. During war, everything is accepted. There's nothing like, uh, let us take it easy here. No, we cannot do this. During war, it's called collateral damage. Both children, men and women, everything will go down. So it's not a joke. That that they did to end up the canoe is an act of war. It's a weapon. They used, a, they deployed a weapon of a woman and money. And they got him. 
So when you are dealing with your enemy, you need to check your arsenal also. Like, what am I going to use to achieve this? Very important. Very important. It's not about emotion. You don't win war with it. Who said that the Nigerian government will allow? Back in those days when there was no uh, Android phone, iPhone, you know, this luxury of life that will make people like this life. That will make people love life. Opportunities to press your phone here and there and get some money. You buy a Range Rover, a limousine, you know, machine. Live good. Travel here and there. It wasn't as much as it is now. People were ready to fight the war. Some did not want to join the war, but they had no option. What happened at the end of the day? During the war and everything? Did they win? They said, oh, if not because they caught the food. That is part of war. You expect your, 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 you said you are, both of you are enemy. So your enemy should allow you to eat, to be strong, to fight him. No, it is an act of war. That's war for you. Every weapon will be deployed to weaken and to unalive your enemy. That's it. So the question is this, is it a crime to say they want to be out of Nigeria? No, it's not a crime. It's because at that time, it became complex. Oil has been discovered in some parts. And those people that sit on that oil say they don't want to be part of it. Go and read history. That people, or those people at the South-South, they say they don't want to be part of it. And Biafra did not want to go without including them. If Igbos had said, we want to be by ourselves, maybe they would have left them. Igbos in general, I mean, the states, people that speak the same language, Bia, Biko, they understand it and they, they, they say this, like, they, maybe they would have left them like, okay, let them go. But they will not allow you go with a land filled with oil and with the people there saying, no, we don't want to be part of this Biafra thing. At least they are spokespersons. They say, we don't want to be part of this Biafra thing. We don't want to be part of it. Go and read history. We don't want to be part of this thing. We don't want to be part of it. So guys, it's so complex. Some people think that all Igbos were in the southeast during the war. No. So we're in the southwest. So we're in Lagos. Go and check history. And I'm not talking of just people. I'm talking of point men and women. They stayed back saying, no, we don't want to be part of it. Although majority did go. Out of the fear of war, or maybe they are going to do this to us. Let's just go and stay safe in our place. It's a complex thing. It's a complex thing. But the question that begs our answer is: How do we achieve it? If truly people want to break apart, Sheung Kuti gave, and I've always said the same thing: The day you vote and you keep voting, you are only saying you want to be part of Nigeria. The day you vote for <laughs> Peter Obi. And you are all out on the street asking for Peter Obi to be president. You are simply saying you believe in one Nigeria. So if you believe in one Nigeria, there can never be Biafra. There can never be Yoruba nation. It's not possible. Solution. If truly you want Biafra, you won't break up of Nigeria. Even if it's not going to be called Biafra, it's going to be named Igbo nation. Because now, South South, many of them don't want to go with any Igbo. If you want to be Simple. Follow the procedure. Let everyone join together and send your from your state house of assembly and state house of rep down to the national assembly. Send your representatives, those that you voted for in your state, send them. Let them go and drop the paper there. That you guys don't want to be part of Nigeria anymore. By the time you recall them, like he said, he said it's a suggestion. By the time you recall those that are not willing to tender or to present or to table the matter there, they will know that you mean business. Without shedding blood, without listening to someone who is saying, Let us go! We must do sit at home! Whilst he's enjoying good life, his children are growing fine in a good country, sending. <laughs> You will not be stupid or foolish in life. If someone wants to be a general, you must be on ground. If you say you have learned your lessons from others, then what makes other people not to also learn the lesson of self-preservation? I don't know if you concur to what I'm saying or you reason with what I'm saying, but we are all free to have our opinions and thoughts about it. The most important is this. What is the way out? Do you have a better solution or suggestion?
drop it in the comment section see you guys in the next update i say a very big thank you to those who have taken time to subscribe to this channel and if you're yet to subscribe kindly tap on that subscription button and also the red bell icon so you will be notified whenever videos such as this are uploaded